Okay, one more. Um, this is longer than the other videos. I'll keep it running, but we can start talking about halfway through because um, I'm pretty sure you'll have your mains, minds made up by then. I just want you to see everything. Want to be friends with Baxter? No. <laughs> Baxter said, Want to be friends with me? I never know. <laughs> so you know. Um, yeah, this, and look at his left leg there. You see how tense he is? That it's not even resting on the floor all the way. There's, you can see there's like, there's light sort of under there, there's shadow under there. Um, yeah, this would be your no signs of friendliness dog. Okay? Um, although to me, it's very apparent he doesn't want to be messed with, so I wouldn't even say that. I would say he's very clearly giving signs, but for most people, again, this would be a no signs of friendliness dog because he's not telling you much either way. Um, there's way of eye. Pupils are dilated. His mouth is closed, right? He's not breathing normally. Um, his ears are back. I'm surprised he's at the front of the cage, considering everything. Um, I can only assume, and again, we don't know what's going on in his head, I can only assume he's at the front because he wants to be more aware of any changes in the environment rather than being in the back, um, but he's not up front because he wants to be wants to be interacting. Okay. Um, you heard, I, you know, I kept it going long enough that you could hear I did a little bit of baby talk, like, he ain't some Mr. Baxter, and that didn't soften him up in the least. Um, I was hoping at least maybe there would be like a little blink or a little pant or his ears would come forward a tad or something like that, nothing. That did not help at all. Um, I crouched down then at one point, which for dogs is a sign that I'm not as intimidating, but in crouching down I also got closer to him. So that's the one time that I saw really any kind of change and it seemed like his eyes widened a little bit more and his head pulled back a tiny bit because I got myself closer. So what should have been a nice gesture just made him worse. Right, so, um, and they don't happen often here. This is a guy, if, if you guys just move on, don't try to interact with him because he is not safe. Okay? He looks like he's given up. He kind of does, doesn't he? And a lot of dogs are like this their first day or two here because this is a very overwhelming environment. Um, especially dogs who come from wonderful, loving homes, they, they completely melt down here because it's so not like what they're used to. Um, so if a dog is like this for its first day or two, um, as volunteers you wouldn't be exposed to that anyway because they're in, the, in receiving with special handling anyway. Um, but after a couple days they may soften up and act like normal dogs once they realize that they're safe here, that, that we're not going to hurt them and they're getting fed and all that kind of stuff. Um, but some dogs are just genetically this way. And again, they're few and far between because it's not normal. Um, but no amount of behavior rehab or big, soft, cushy beds and treats and love is going to make this any different for a dog who's genetically this way. Okay. All right. Um, one last video to show you on the dogs. And it says it right there. You guys are going to see a dog bite. Okay? It's not bloody and gory. Um, we have this in here because I want you to see how humans mess things up totally and get themselves bitten. I said usually it's that we ignore the signs or we just don't know them and that's what happens um, in this case it is a police dog that was just bought for the city there was a big campaign to get money to buy this dog so it's a big news story because they finally have the dog now so a reporter is with the um, with the cop with the officer who's going to be handling this dog interviewing the officer um, the way they are situated around the dog is already a problem because they're very much over him and for dogs that's confrontational. You're going to see the dog is giving all kinds of warning signs he doesn't like what's happening and the reporter very innocently makes a move and pays for it. So it combines that keep your eyes on the dog when you're working with it along with know how to interact properly with dogs. Okay, so it's a very short clip. Again it's not bloody and gory but it's always surprising. So lip licking, ears back, he's hunkered down, I mean he has lowered himself down a little bit. That's a direct stare at the reporter. 
and then the bite. Right. So the reporter, first of all, touching him around the throat is not a very good idea for a dog that you don't know. Because that's a vulnerable area to dogs. Um, he, he shifts his weight, and in shifting his weight, that means uh, he has to lean forward, which is normal for the human body, but in dogs, going over is very dominant. So the dog's already like, I've told you to back off, you're frightening me, and then he makes a forward approach to the dog as far as the dog's concerned, so the dog defends himself. Okay? So um, the reporter did everything wrong as far as interacting with this dog, which is not his fault, he's a reporter. The cop should have been aware right. of what was going on and protected his dog, which is really, it's, you know, his fault. I understand he's on TV and being interviewed and he's not thinking so much about the dog. As a cop, who's a professional handler with a dog, you'd think he would think about that, but he didn't. Um, the reporter did go on to finish. Now, this is a big German Shepherd who's got powerful jaw, jaw strength. It's an adult German Shepherd. Um, he needed a couple stitches over here and here. That's it. That's it. This dog could have done major damage to this man, and he didn't. So the good lesson that comes from this is dogs generally do the bare minimum that they need to to get their, their point across. Okay? And when he, he did all the tongue flicking and the ears back and all that other stuff, he's like, okay, this isn't working. I have to go to the next thing. And so that was a very inhibited bite, actually. So it could have been a lot worse. But still, I don't think anybody wants that anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, any questions on dogs before we move on to